Speed to save us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. the Lord. Welcome to the Office of Choral Leaders Song. Welcome if you're joining us online on our Zoom or YouTube links and our congregation present. And we come on this commemoration of the life of St John the Baptist, whose feast day of his birth is today. Our worship continues now with our psalm for the 24th evening, Psalm 119, verses 1 to 32.
The first reading is written in the fourth chapter of the book of the prophet Malachi. <coughs> See, the day is coming, burning like an oven, when all the arrogant and all the evildoers will be stubble. The day that comes shall burn them up, says the Lord of hosts, so that it will leave them neither root nor branch. But for you who revere my name, the sun of righteousness shall rise, with healing in its wings. You shall go out leaping like calves from the stall, and you shall tread down the wicked, for they will be ashes under the soles of your feet on the day when I act, says the Lord of hosts. Remember the teaching of my servant Moses, the statutes and ordinances that I commanded him at Horeb for all Israel. Lo, I will send you the prophet Elijah before the great and terrible day of the Lord comes. He will turn the hearts of parents to their children and the hearts of children to their parents so that I will not come and strike the land with a curse. Here ends the first reading.
The second reading is written in the 11th chapter of the Gospel according to Matthew, beginning to read at the second verse. When John heard in prison what the Messiah was doing, he sent word by his disciples and said to him, Are you the one who is to come, or are we to wait for another? Jesus answered them, Go and tell John what you hear and see. The blind receive their sight, the lame walk, the lepers are cleansed, the deaf hear, the dead are raised, and the poor have good news brought to them. And blessed is anyone who takes no offence at me. As they went away, Jesus began to speak to the crowds about John. What did you go out into the wilderness to look at? A reed shaken by the wind? What then did you go out to see? Someone dressed in soft robes? Look, those who wear soft robes are in royal palaces. What then did you go out to see? A prophet? Yes, I tell you, and more than a prophet. This is the one about whom it is written... See, I am sending my messenger ahead of you, who will prepare your way before you. Truly I tell you, among those born of women, no one has arisen greater than John the Baptist. Yet the least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. From the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven has suffered violence, and the violent take it by force. For all the prophets and the law prophesied until John came, and if you're willing to accept it, he is Elijah who is to come. Let anyone with ears listen. But to what will I compare this generation? It is like children sitting in the marketplaces and calling to one another, we played the flute for you and you did not dance, we wailed and you did not mourn. For John came neither eating nor drinking, and they say he has a demon. The Son of Man came eating and drinking, and they say, Look, a glutton and a drunkard, a friend of tax collectors and sinners. Yet wisdom is vindicated by her deeds. Here ends the second reading.
I believe in God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and seated on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. with righteousness. And make thy choice and be with thy God. O Lord, save thy people. And bless thy Be peace in our time, O Lord. Mighty God, by whose providence thy servant John Baptist was wonderfully born, and sent to prepare the way of thy Son, our Saviour, by preaching of repentance, make us to follow his doctrine and holy life, that we may truly repent according to his preaching, and after his example constantly speak the truth, boldly rebuke vice, and patiently suffer for the truth's sake. Through Jesus Christ, thy Son, our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. O God, from whom all holy desires, all good counsels, and all just works do proceed, give unto thy servants that peace which the world cannot keep. Lord, both our hearts may be set to obey thy commandments, and also that by thee, we being defended from the fear of our enemies, may pass our time in rest and quietness through the merits of Jesus Christ our Saviour. Amen. Lighten our darkness, we beseech thee, O Lord. 
and by thy great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of thine only Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. On this sea commemoration of the life of John the Baptist, it's appropriate that our anthem tonight is This is the Record of John, taken from Scripture reminding us of John preparing the way for Jesus, saying that he is not the Christ, but the one who will come, the Christ who will come after him. And the music's by Orlando Gabbins.
So we continue to pray. We thank you, Lord, for the example of John the Baptist, the one who came to define the way to the Lord by bringing justice, calling for repentance, seeking those to change their lives, to turn away from sin, and to turn to Christ. We pray for all who risk their lives and their ability to turn people to Jesus today, and those who risk their lives in doing it, for telling people what they do not want to hear, for revealing injustice, and showing the love of power through sacrifice and servanthood, and challenging injustice systems. Lord, we give thanks for your servant leadership, revealed in Jesus and in John. Help us to walk those paths, to speak for truth and righteousness, repentance and hope. And help us to be faithful to the cross, as you were, that those who have followed you may never die in vain, but in their death find true life. Amen. As we remember John the Baptist calling people to change their lives, calling them to be baptised, to turn away from sin and be faithful to Christ. We pray for all whose lives are turning or changing strongly towards you. Particularly at this time we pray for our Bishop Mark as his life changes more greatly as he comes to be enthroned as our Bishop this coming Saturday. For his leadership, the challenges he will bring us and the ways that he follows Jesus not to be powerful, not to be popular, but to be one who takes up his feet, takes up a towel and washes our feet so we can walk with him. We also pray for those who are in a time of transition, taking up their cross to follow Jesus as deacons to be ordained next Sunday. We remember many of them by our hearts and prayers. And particularly, we remember Johnny, Jill, Peter, Chris, and others who, over these next few days, we will name by heart and by word. We continue to pray for those who have asked us from other dances to pray for them, for Kath, those to be ordained in Manchester, Tammy to be ordained in Birmingham, and for Benji to be ordained priest in Oxford. Heavenly Father, we thank you that you call us to follow you and that you, we call, we are called, you call us to know you and to trust in you. Increase this knowledge and strengthen our faith. And give to your servants who are to be ordained or enthroned the gift of your Holy Spirit, that they may find your way as one that leads them to eternal life, and in doing so, call others to follow them. In Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Tonight in our deanery, we pray for our deanery synod and for Henny, our rural dean, here in this deanery of Chester. We're praying also today for those who are part of the Frodsham deanery and the schools in Rancorn. We remember those who are part of the church community as part of the territorial army and their chaplains, the work of the reserves armed forces, and pray and give thanks for those who serve our country in their time when not at work. Today we're also praying for National Writing Day, for those who inspire others, young people called to write, 
and pray for aspiring writers, or who help compose our hymns and our liturgy. We also pray for our poet in residence, Julia McGuinness, and the words that she brings to us to help reflect on God's presence in this place. We pray for those who are to be ordained, and especially we remember those who were ordained to the priesthood, for Anthony serving at Elworth, George at Higher Bebbington, Danny at Frankby and Greasby, and Fran at Great Mells. We pray for all those who are in a wilderness in their lives, seeking for a character like John to show them the way. Lord, we ask you to show us the fire of your love, that their ministry may reveal your presence in the church as members of the army, as writers, as priests, or in any kind of ministry where your will is revealed. At times when clergy and laity face times in the wilderness, may their afflictions never let be crushed. In their doubts, never they find despair. In temptation, may they never be destroyed. And in persecution, may they never be abandoned. Inspire them through prayer to live each day the mystery of your dying and rising. In Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. So we give thanks for the day which has passed, the people we've met, the opportunities we've had to share our faith with those around us. Particularly we pray in our cathedral community tonight for Francis, for Matty, Amy, Susie, Zoe and Gareth. And for those who particularly ask for our prayers, we remember Pauline, Claire's mum, Reg Taylor, Helen Newman, Bishop Christopher Chesson. And we pray for the souls of the faithful departed. Roger Fisher and Bishop Benin Mazisi. And for all those who we love and see no longer, who pray for us as we pray for them. And so with John the Baptist, St. Ethel Reader, St. Alban, the Blessed Virgin Mary, and all God's saints, we bring our prayers and offer them in the words of the grace together. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen.